There are new developments tonight in the case of a how-to rape website where men bragged about their crimes online. Today, one of those men, the so-called pickup artist, was sentenced to eight years in prison. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us now. And Steve, the men often targeted women in the gas lamp. They did. They would look for bars that were just about to close and look for women who had been drinking heavily and then move in for the score. His attorney said Jason Berlin has a mild form of autism and is awkward in social situations. And that led to his involvement in something called Efficient Pickup, a website aimed at seducing or raping drunk and vulnerable women. One victim tracked them down, leading to convictions and prison terms for two instructors of that company and now a student, Berlin. That night was not an oops or coincidence of events. It was strategically planned by these men who not only manipulated and raped women regularly, but blogged and profited from it from their fans, followers, and students. Judge Jeff Fraser praised her for her determination. But for you, this case would not have gone forward. But for you, this entire rank would not have been shut down. Berlin apologized, saying he was embarrassed by his inability to make friends, and he became impatient. I then made the biggest mistake of my life and began paying thousands of dollars for what I naively believed was a mentorship. His mother was very emotional. I thought the worst day was finding out. <laughs> okay, one moment. And as she spoke, her son dissolved in tears too. I love him deeply, unconditionally. I have forgiven him for his grave mistakes. But Judge Fraser said he saw no genuine remorse from her son, rather a high degree of callousness. He sentenced Jason Berlin to the maximum, eight years in prison. And the two men who were Berlin's instructors also serving prison terms, all three getting eight years. Live in the Gaslamp, Steve Fiorino, 10.